Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Brochelt, and today I'd like to talk about some useful resources for SAP and Microsoft consultants. In the last weeks, I got actually quite a few requests from different audiences, from um, colleagues that are more SAP focused, from colleagues that are more Microsoft focused on, on how to get started. How can I test my services? How can I do the integration? And honestly, looking back a few years ago, <clears throat> when I was still at SAP, it was actually pretty complicated to get started. Um, you needed to install a so-called IDAS system to really be able to explore um, an SAP system to test out new functionality and to start the development. Um, in the meantime, that's much, much easier, especially with SAP Fiori, with the way how SAP um, now develops um, application, how SAP accesses um, data on different um, data sources, it's much, much easier. And I quickly want to show you some of the resources that I'm using um, to get started. So at first I'll focus a little um, on generic URLs or general resources, but then I want to take a look at SAP resources, which hopefully is interesting for, for the Microsoft audience. And then I also want to show you some resources to help you on the Microsoft side. So this will hopefully be helpful for the SAP audience. Um, to get started, what I typically like to do is um, take a look at odata.org. Um, odata.org helps you to really get started with what are odata services, um, to, to play around with them, to, to test them. So it, it's really easy to, yeah, to learn, to, to um, get your first steps in what is an odata service, but then also to test odata services. So let me quickly switch over to odata.org and, and here you can see some, some references and there are some, some tutorials. So if you go um, to the developers getting started and stuff like that, um, there, there are some tutorials. There are also um, <clears throat> tutorials for Postman. So you can download Postman and install um, the, the, the collections to get started. Um, what I always like to do is also to really test these services. So there's services.odata.org, and there are uh, there are already um, version four um, services there. And then you can, for example, just um, query for for people or something like that. Um, if you're then familiar with Odata, what I also like to do, and um, this is obviously goes in the direction that we want to integrate SAP and Microsoft. What I also really like is the Microsoft Graph. Um, so if you head over to developer.microsoft.com and go through the Graph Explorer, that's also a very easy way to test services. So you don't need a user or anything. You can just browse this Microsoft Graph and there's, there's really demo data behind. So if I, for example, just query this URL, you get some information off of this user. Um, or if I want to take a look at the mail of this specific demo user, you get this. You can also sign in and, and use this. But the important thing is you can leverage really this URL in your application. So if you want to um, include um, Microsoft data in your Fiori application, that's a perfect way to start to actually um, access a lot of information that is available in your Microsoft universe. Now, if you want to do the next step, if you really want to test um, services from um, SAP, um, there's this very, very powerful SAP developer system, ES5. It's a gateway. It's an SAP gateway system that um, yeah, grew quite a lot. Um, there's a beautiful blog post by m my former colleague, Andre Fischer, which outlines a lot of these steps, what this su system is, what you can do with this service. Um, for me, the most important thing are the, the OData services that are really coming out of an SAP system. Um, to get started, um, well, you need to sign up to this ES5 system. For this e um, ES5 system, you need an SAP user ID. This can be this S user. So if you are an, a customer of SAP, you probably have this S user. If not, then you can also sign up to a, a P user. These are the, the, the free trial users that you can easily get. I typically like to get them um, via the um, cloud appliance, uh, sorry, via the um, SAP cloud platform. So just head over to cloudplatform.sap.com and then um, you can just uh, yeah log in, create a free trial account. Then you get your, your P user. You just need to provide an email address and a phone number. And once you have this P user, well, you can you can really sign up um, to this ES5 system and, and get started. Uh, 
what you can do is you can launch this SAP Fiori Launchpad. Um, then you see here the, the, the new user interface of SAP. You can take a look at um, purchase orders, um, at the products that are available. So this is a really, really powerful um, system that is publicly available, so you can very easily access it. And um, obviously you can you can take a look at these Fiori applications, but you can also take a look at the um, all data services. So there's this famous um, GW Gateway sample basic service, um, which provides you with um, access to um, business partners, to products, to sales orders. So it's a, it's a really great collection that you can use to actually test and, and, and develop um, against SAP applications. So it's a really great way um, to get started when you really want to um, connect to an SAP system. Now, this is a public, this is a shared system. Um, obviously, <clears throat> um, if you want to, to connect to some some more APIs, this is a NetWeaver system. If you want to connect to um, other um, APIs, then the SAP API Business Hub is a, is a great place to start. Um, the SAP API Business Hub started as a um, telephone book, more or less, so yellow pages where you could look up um, available SAP services. But in the meantime, it really evolved to something much, much more. <clears throat> so if we head over to the um, um, API Business Hub, um, let me let me go back here to the to the main screen. <clears throat> then you can see there's a bunch of solutions that you can select. So <clears throat> you can look for. Um, APIs that are available on from from SAP Concur or from SAP Success Factors, or you can take a look at um, the S4 HANA Cloud APIs. Um, you you just drill down into into one of these buckets, or you can actually also search, and then um, you get a list of um, available um, APIs. You can drill down, for example, I don't know. There's Activity Type, so I can take a look. I can um, uh, get some information like what this API is all about. I can also Test it um, here in the API Business Hub. So again, you need to sign in um, with your P user or with your S user. But once you have done this, you can actually try it out. So you can um, test this API directly here in the browser. So I can cl just click on Execute. <clears throat> it's loading, and then it's executing this this API within the API Business Hub, and I, I get some um, results from a sandbox system that is behind. Now. Testing it in the UI is already a fantastic start um, to or a fantastic step to get started. But what's also nice now you get the API for this sandbox system, so you can also again use this API to test it um, out of your Excel or out of an, another Fiori application. It's really really powerful. And um, the only thing that you need to do there, um, you need to access um, the API key. Um, so. Um, if you want to access it externally from an external system, um, you, you need to retrieve the API key and submit this API key in the head in the header, and then you can get started. Actually, there are also code snippets here available. So uh, there are code snippets for JavaScript, Java, and, and whatever, and, and you can just copy and paste this, this information to get started and call um, the APIs yeah, from, from curl or from, from wherever you, you want to use this. So these are all public systems. Now, if you want to have your very own system, then a very easy and, and simple way to get started, especially with S4, uh, S4 HANA, um, is the, or are the S4 HANA cloud trial. There are two flavors um, to it. There's first of all, the full on-premise system, the SAP S4 HANA trial experience, which you can test for free for 30 days. Um, so if, if you head over to CRM S4 HANA, um, then you, you can get these different trials. So you can either sign up for this 30-day um, um, trial, um, which j just asks you again a, a few questions, um, username and, and, and whatever. And then you have your very own system that you can use to, to test, to explore. There are some guided tours that, that help you get started in what actually is um, S4 HANA. Now here you get really the on-prem um, flavor. So you can see it, it's currently S4 HANA 1809 um, feature pack um, two, so th that's what, what you get here. What you can also do is you can also say, well, that's nice, but I actually want to really test the cloud edition. And then again, there's a 40 day trial available and similar concept, you just need to sign up and then you get your own um, system, your own tenant that you can use um, to, to play around and to access um, your S4 HANA system. Now, as mentioned, these systems are trial systems, so they are only available for a certain period of time. So People who, who watched some other videos of mine um, are definitely aware of the Cloud Appliance Library. 
I'm a huge fan of the Cloud Appliance Library because it really gives you access um, to your very own SAP system. So um, you can deploy it, um, your own SAP system within minutes. There are a lot of systems that are really free that you can use um, uh, for, for your own development um, uh, purposes where you can test out services, where you can just give it a try and, and play around. There are also um, systems or solutions available um, where you need to pay um, for, for the Cloud Appliance Library. But again, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really great concept if you just want to have a, a, a demo system or if you want, like in my case, um, a very simple um, system where I can do my own configurations, where I can mess things up, where I can change the configuration so that no one can log in anymore without really impacting anyone. And if I really completely destroy my SAP system, well, so be it. Then I just delete it and I um, start a new instance via the Cloud Appliance Library within minutes and I can get started. Now for the SAP focused or um, oriented um, developer, there's one issue, obviously, you need a cloud account. And obviously, since we are here on the SAP on a Microsoft Azure channel, and the easiest way to get started is if you just have your Azure subscription and there's this Azure um, slash free subscription. So um, if you head over to azure.com slash free, um, you need to provide a credit card information, <clears throat> but this credit is, is, or this credit card is not charged. Um, it's just to, to make sure that you don't sign up um, unlimited times with, with uh, yeah, with your user and then use it for whatever um, purpose. But if you sign up once, then you get um, $200 um, credit worth of credit that you can spend on, on anything that you want. There's a bunch of services that you get um, completely for free um, for, for the next 12 months. And actually there, there are an additional set of services that you can use always for free. So um, let's head over to azure.com slash free. So here, <clears throat> and um, like mentioned, um, you, you just um, sign up here um, start for free and then uh, provide your credentials. And then, uh, yeah, you, you have access to the to the Azure portal. And, and obviously you can also use this then um, in the Cloud Appliance Library as mentioned before. Um, to, as, as, an, as an account to deploy your SAP systems to this Azure um, environment. If you're then um, happy with Azure and you want to do the next step, then <clears throat> obviously you can just um, switch this, this free account um, and uh, make sure that now your credit card can be charged. And then you can just continue with this pay-as-you-go model, which is perfectly fine, I think, if, you, if you're just getting started and if you just want to play around with the services. Um, actually, I think if you want to do a little more, then there are some additional really great offers. Um, one thing is the Visual Studio subscription. So the Visual Studio subscription, first of all, gives you access to Visual Studio, obviously. But it also gives you, um, depending on the model or the subscription that you have, it also gives you access um, to Azure. So it also gives you credit um, to Azure that you can leverage. So if we switch over um, to Visual Studio here, um, then, then there are a bunch of uh, programs. So if you use the standard subscription, <clears throat> then Obviously, you get um, Visual Studio, you get Azure DevOps um, and, and, and some other um, um, components here, but you also get um, Azure credits. Um, depending on what you actually want to do, this, this might already be a, um, a nice entry point to really get started and, uh, and, and use Azure here. There's also an enterprise subscription um, that you can use. Um, there's, there's even more, um, obviously, in it. Um, but potentially, this can be a really good starting point also um, to not only use Visual Studio, but to also then um, use these Azure credits um, to run um, Azure and, and develop applications with this. The last thing that I um, quickly want to talk about is um, the partner program. Um, there actually, um, if you are a partner, either small or, or a big, then there are also some really, really interesting um, programs. So if you are interested in becoming a partner, or maybe you are already a partner, then I um, would definitely recommend to, to check out um, the, the, the available programs here. One of these programs is uh, these Microsoft Action Packs. So in these Action Packs, I mean, first you need to join this Microsoft Partner Network, but then as part of this Microsoft um, Partner Program, uh, you have access to different components. And one of these components are these Microsoft Action Packs. In these Action Packs, you get a, um, a list of services, and actually you can just... Um, take a look at the, the available um, services that you get. Um, and 
part of these um, services, for example, are here um, access to, to operating systems, productivity, to, to Office 365 that you can test, but also um, for Azure, somewhere down here. Yeah, so for example, you, you also get access um, to, um, to, uh, to monthly Azure credits that you can use again for whatever um, developments you want to use. So if you are a partner, if you want to become a, a Microsoft partner, I think this is also a fantastic program um, to easily get to, to credits, to Azure credits that you can use for whatever service that you want to uh, consume in Azure. So with this very quick um, run through, I, I hope that um, this will be helpful for, for either the SAP or the Microsoft focused um, developers. Um, I just summarized here a, a few links. They should also be available down um, in the video. Give it a try. I think it's so easy to get started in, in the meantime compared to like five or 10 years ago. Um, it, it's really, really just a matter of um, subscribing, um, signing up with your email address, getting access to SAP resources, getting access to Microsoft resources, and then it's it's a fantastic playing ground um, to uh, yeah to get started combining SAP and Microsoft um, components. I hope you enjoyed this quick um, run through to through different um, resources from SAP and Microsoft. Thank you very much for watching.